Wow, isn't this cool looking? Awesome looking memorial. All right, welcome back to M Hood Fishing. So I bet some of you already know where I'm at. If you're seeing that, you probably recognize that memorial over there. Maybe you recognize this right here. It's like a wagon wheel. So this is Lafanier Park. We're in Metairie, Louisiana. I'm here with my good friend James over there. He's got a channel too. You should check it out. Links down in the description. You know what to do. So three species today I'm going to target all at once underneath this shade tree. We're going to go for carp, catfish, and bass. Of course we are. Couldn't leave those out. <laughs> Some of you would like me to, but I'm not. Not today. But yes, carp, catfish, and bass. It's around 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now. Around 3.20, something like that. Who, who cares? Under a shade tree. Nice and cool. Let's get into this. Before I actually get a line wet, I want to put out some ground bait. But first of all, let's tell you what's up with the hook bait. So we're going to use just regular corn from the can. That's the hook bait and partly the ground bait. So this right here is a big old dough ball made of white, cheap white bread, that is. I had a bunch of stale white bread in the refrigerator, so we did a good old clear to make some space because there was just too much of it. Just pretty much just crumbled this up into a bucket, added a little bit of water, kneaded it like this till it's a nice big dough ball. I'm just going to make little balls like this and throw out because I'm not going to place my bait too far. I'm going to scatter these in the area where I want to put my hook bait. We're doing only one line for carp, one line for cats, and I got two poles dedicated to bass. But since it's so early, in the afternoon we're going to focus on carp and catfish for the first half of this video because I, I just don't see any bass activity that's not going to be till we get closer to sunset i don't want to feed all of this ball but a good portion if this was winter time i would feed even less but i don't really need to cut back on the feed i don't want to overfeed either all right, I think I've got plenty fed out there with the bread. I know there's catfish because when I showed up, Tyler here, who I just met, pulled in a little tiny channel cat and showed me a picture of a five pound. So I know there's catfish. If he's catching them, we're gonna catch them. Let's move on here. Let's put some corn out. Just gonna scatter a little bit. It's really slimy. I think it's been in the fridge a little longer. A little longer than it should have been. That's good. I don't want too much corn out there because my hook bait is corn. They're going to spend too much time on the ground bait and not enough time looking for my hook bait. So here's my carp rig. It's a simple slip rig. This is maybe an ounce of a homemade lead and a bead, barrel swivel. Everything's 30 pounds from the main line to the leader. Now the hook, which is on a leader that's about a foot, give or take a little bit, the hook is an octopus hook and it's the equivalent of a size one not a op one a size one it's not the smallest coarse fish octopus hook i have but it's not the biggest either it's about like a size one octopus hook whoo man i think this corn has been in the fridge just way too long let's see how well it does we can always catch the carp with some dough ball on the hook this stuff has got some sour smell to it. it. Might still work. As you see, I'm just loading this up with kernels. And there we go. As you see, I let it hit the water and then I pull back a little bit. That's to stretch my leader out so it's away from my lead. And we are going to just put this down as you see, I don't have any fancy gear for carp right now. This is one of my lighter catfish rods. These are regular bank sticks. My other fancy carp gear that I own is actually in Texas. Oh, here we go. That was fast. Ha ha ha, man. Yeah, you're right. This is a channel cat. Slow down, buddy. He likes that sour corn. 
But this is what's got me going here. This is why I'm saying, man, look at this. Look at the spots on this cat. Both sides, really spotted. Really pretty. All right, first catch going back. Let's get a catfish line out. I feel like I already have a catfish line out, but let's get an actual catfish line out. I've had this happen to me before at certain places where I'm fishing for carp, either with uh, corn or some other kind of weird hook bait or boilies, and the first fish is a cat. So with this, we are using a size two kale. We're just gonna wrap this worm on as much as we can. Our leader is about a foot and it is a 30 pound leader out of mono and our weight this time is on a lead trolley and it's a two ounce because it's a little windy we're gonna fish this a little further out than the carp line did I cross your line all right I literally just threw this back out there what did we get this time Let's show James what I'm talking about. All right, it is a spotty guy. Yeah, you guys see that? Both sides. While we're watching these carp and catfish lines, let's throw a shaky head to the side here, but not in the area where this carp line is. This is a finesse worm, it's a June bug color. I think that will work great even though it's not necessarily a feeding time for bass right now. It's not big. Oh, the catfish are getting bigger. Whoa, sorry. Every time I go for a hop and a run, the camera goes down. Everyone across the world that does what I do experiences that with these GoPros. Another spotty. Look at that. Spot, spot, spot. I had this strange feeling there's going to be a lot of small fish in this video. Look, a black bean. Wow. This feels a little better, but it's not big. It's a little bigger. Must be just a ton of channel cat here, full of spots too again. Not big again, but it's there and it's getting caught. It's caught. Here it comes. We're about to see. Ooh, I can kind of see some white. What do we got here? Oh, how did you know? Oh, geez, that was, oh, I thought for sure that was a carp. Is that you? You sure that's you? It feels kind of heavy. No, it's a double header is what it is. You have a fish? You have a fish and I have a fish. He thought maybe he'd cross my line. Just uh, little cats. Oh, there you go. Are you catching anything out here, you said? Just little channel cats so far. Yeah, that's what we definitely catch. But we usually go by that dock out there. Just catch bigger ones. Catch catfish all the time. Is it a YouTube video? Yeah. You got a YouTube channel? Yeah. What is it? M Hood Fishing. Oh. 
I don't fish this very often, so. Oh, this feels a little better. It feels a little different. Wonder what this could be. You need help with that? Yeah. Sit. Oh, it's a big soft shell. Yeah. Get it up. It's a big soft shell. If you weren't in this park, I, I'd say it's soup time. You better go buy some onions. <laughs> oh, this feels a little different. But it's not different. That's because he's wrapped up a little bit. Hooked in the mouth, but wrapped up. It's a little longer. Worm line is starting to go off a little bit here. Whoa. I'm not sure what this is. This is either a big, bigger catfish or a turtle. You, you're probably right. I don't feel any head shakes. I feel it hugging the bottom. Oh, I feel like a this like a sack of potatoes is fighting me. It's got a little bit of a fight, but a lot of weight. Whoa! Oh, it's up. No, I don't think that's a turtle. Is it a turtle? I thought I saw a fishtail, or I'm dreaming. No, I saw a flipper. There he goes. There you go. Yeah. Nice little cat. Yeah, now I tow it. Tow it up? Tow it up? Go down, all right? Yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right. I just put this out. I was trying to put the uh, carp line back out. Hopefully this is not a turtle. It's not shaking its head. Oh. Good grief. This place has too many of these in here. It sounds like I'm complaining, don't it? Nice. Feels a little heavy for some reason. Oh. Looks like the same one I just, just cut. <laughs> just put it back out. It's like over and over, but I think I may have missed this one. Oh. I'm gonna have to watch this other line. Ooh, I got to this one just in time. The hook is not down in there. Nice, eh? Whoa! Got a bit of a fight. Oh, it's the same thing. A half inch bigger. Yeah, you're right. 
Yeah, got him. Boy, Phil head shakes too. It's not very big. It's probably a little bit of the same. Whoa. Try to do a figure eight right there. Ooh, nice fight. Getting a bite. Ooh. Whoa. I feel head shakes and it feels a little good, a little better. Oh, now it's not feeling so heavy. Well, that's a, a little better than a half inch bigger. Yeah, you're right. Only got one of my targets and I got a lot of them. Just nothing but non-stop channel catfish action here. Man, a lot of fun. Whew, it was almost way too much. Too many catfish here. Had to take a break. So I got to go now. So like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.